Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Sean. I'm back with a video yesterday. Today, this is about the title. I'm bringing you guys my top five professional wrestlers that I met over the years of uh, me meeting wrestlers. It's been about five, maybe six years going on. Um, so, yeah. Um, and when I met all these wrestlers, they've all actually been at um, WrestleMania Access. So, that's been uh, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys uh, like the video and enjoy, guys. By the way, guys, I'm just going to be showing you guys some footage of me meeting the uh, wrestlers. I have three uh, videos for three of the guys that I met. I have one picture for the other guy that I met, and then I have nothing for the other guy because uh, it was like back in 2012 when I met the one guy, and I didn't do any videos or whatever for you know me meeting superstars or going to WrestleMania and taking videos or whatever. And um, and I, I don't know. I have no idea where the picture could be, so uh, I'm just going to be talking about him. But anyways, uh, let's get right into it. The number five superstar that I've met all time is... Yep, it's actually a coincidence that I'm wearing his t-shirt. John Cena coming in at number five. Um, John Cena was just an awesome guy. I actually met him twice. Um, forgot to mention that, but uh, I showed you guys the WrestleMania 30, 30 access when I met him. It was the first time. So, uh, yeah, he was just an awesome guy. Just a very, very cool guy. Uh, definitely, He's definitely different from uh, a lot of other you know wrestlers or whatever. Because, uh, one, he, he'll talk to you. And, two... Uh, he signed multiple things, which is awesome about wrestlers, so uh, i got to give him props for that, and that's why he comes in at number five, guys. The number four WWE superstar that I've met of all time is... Now, Kofi Kingston coming in at number four might surprise a lot of you just because um, he's my favorite wrestler of all time. Um, don't get me wrong, it was awesome meeting him, but like... The stuff that he did during the sign-up was didn't top what the top the other three guys did, so it, it's kind of mixed emotions about it. But I just put him at four. Definitely got him in my top five, no doubt. But uh, yeah, it was awesome meeting him. Don't get me wrong, but it just didn't top the number three guys what they did for me and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So Kofi Kingston at number four. The number three WWE superstar that I've met all the time is. <laughs> Yep, Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus, I met during WrestleMania 30 uh, weekend access as well, just like Cena, uh, the first time I met Cena too. Um, he was just an awesome, awesome guy. I had to put him over Kofi just because uh, he signed four things for me. He signed my shirt, he signed a picture, he signed, uh, what else did he sign? Uh, I can't, I'm blanking out. Uh, he signed a figure for me, yep, a figure. Uh, he just signed awesome stuff, a lot of stuff, and... Um, yeah, that's why I had to put him on here. And uh, as you saw by the picture, you know, taking a picture with me, like going like the bro, it was just awesome. And uh, yeah, he was just an awesome guy to me. And uh, he comes in at number three. Now the number two guy um, has no picture or photo just because I can't find it and I didn't and ever took a video back then. But it's Tony Atlas. Uh, I met him during WrestleMania 28 weekend. That was my first ever WrestleMania that I went to. My first ever access that I went to. We barely knew about like what Axis was all about uh, back then, so uh, we didn't really know what to do and like stuff like that. So we just met superstars. I think we got the picture, but I have no idea where that could where that could be nowadays. But uh, but Tony Atlas comes in at number two just because he. Well, and this was like when I was like little. This was when I was like uh, like twelve or thirteen or whatever. Um, but this was when. Like I said, I was 12, and he just, like, talked to me at least for, like, five minutes. And it was awesome because he just said, you know, just if you want to do anything in life or, you, like, 
whatever, just go achieve it and always respect your parents and do what they tell you and stuff like that. It was just an awesome thing for, I had to hear a WWE superstar tell you. It was just, it was, it was really cool. So, um, it, when I, I'm not kidding you when I tell you it was a five minute speech and I was just like, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I was literally then, so I was, didn't have, you know, that much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Tony Atlas comes in at number two just because of, like, the inspiration and you know it was just awesome so um i don't know if you guys will believe me but trust me it did happen and uh it, it was awesome meeting tony atlas and i'm glad that i did meet tony atlas because uh that, that man is uh is quite a, a man so he comes in at number two tony atlas and what you've all been waiting for my number one wwe superstar that i've met of all time is Randy Orton. Now this might surprise you as well, uh, you know, putting him above Sheamus or whatever, but when I tell you, if you, you, you even see the video, I talked to Randy Orton for a minute, at, at least a minute, um, and you don't get that, at, like, you don't get that at all in um, Super Soy signings anymore. It's usually like a 20 second, hey, how are you? Thanks for doing this, blah, blah, blah. You're out. But I talked to Randy Orton for at least a good 50 to a minute, like a 50 seconds to a minute, no doubt. Um, you know, I talked to him about, because um, it was during WrestleMania 31 weekend when he faced Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. I was like, you and Seth Rollins are going to freaking tear the house down. Like, that's going to be an awesome match, which they did. It was a great match. And I was just like asking him, like, what do you think of Seth Rollins? And he was like, oh, he's a, he has a bright future in the company, blah, blah, blah. And then he looked at the plaque because I uh, uh, he took a plaque right here, actually. I took uh, the plaque that my dad made right here. You guys didn't see the RKO plaque that my dad made. I had him sign it. He was like, wow, that's so awesome. And that's like amazing. He was just like looking at it. He was like, oh, did you make that? I was like, no, my dad did, blah, blah, blah. It was just awesome. Um, I'm glad that I met Randy Orton. And he definitely deserves to be number one on this list. So, yeah, Randy Orton comes in at number one. Alrighty guys, so that'll wrap up this video for you guys today. Just telling you what my top five WWE superstars that I've met of all time are. Um, you got John Cena, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus, Tony Atlas, and Randy Orton. Um, all awesome guys to meet. And if you haven't met them, definitely go meet them. Um, but yeah, I'm, sorry for the lack of videos. It's just uh, I've been on vacation and all that. You know, uh, vacation getting in the way, and I'm gonna go on, and I'm going on vacation uh, after I make this video actually. So. Yeah, I should be having a WWE Shop unboxing once I get back, which is like Saturday, whenever. Uh, so hopefully my two packages get here by then. Uh, it's an awesome. It's gonna be an awesome WWE Shop unboxing. But let's not talk about that right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, do all, do all that. Be awesome, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.